everybody. Um, Danielle here. I am the momager to Nicholas Buwama, the eight-year-old published author. And um, if you recall, a few weeks ago, I posted an image of Nicholas sitting on top of several boxes of his books. We had just received our first order from China, and we were very, very excited. So we were excited then, and we're still excited today. So but, um, but I did receive messages from several of you wanting to see images or see videos of the, um, the product. And I wanted to take time to do that today. And I wanted to show you the difference, you know, compare the, the books that I printed here domestically and the ones that I printed internationally. And kind of tell you about my ordering experience. So, um, you know, normally what we do is we order through Ingram Spark here in the States. And um, Ingram Spark is a great company to order from if you are doing print on demand and if you're an indie author. And um, so and what print on demand is, is if you're ordering one book, 10 books, 20 books, it doesn't matter. The cost of the book is going to stay the same. It's not going to change, which is really nice because um, in the beginning, most of us, we don't have the funds to place those big orders. And if you do have the funds, you have to think about storage, where you're going to store that order once it does come over. So Ingram, Ingram Spark is a great company to, um, to use for that, for that reason. My only problem with Ingram Spark was that they were keeping all of the profits. So, <laughs> so basically, when you're using print on demand, um, print on demand, they, you know, there's no profit in the books because it's going to the printing company. Um, same with Amazon. If you order Nicholas's books through Amazon, we don't print those books. Those books are printed from Amazon and, you know, they keep most of the profit. And so a lot of you, you wonder, like, why do we price the books, um, you know, so high? And, you know, we try not to price them too high, but at the same time, there's no markup in the book. So it's not like we're making a lot of money off of those books. It's the printing companies that are making the money. So, um, you know, and in the beginning, you know, the whole thing is about just getting the product out there. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, we're excited. We just want the product out there. And, um, and the companies like Amazon and Ingram Spark, they do that job. They, they do the job for you. Um, but when you start selling several thousands of books, then you have to kind of take a step back and reevaluate the situation and um, to say, hey, I'm doing all this work, but I'm not seeing it in the back end. I'm not seeing that whole net profit thing, you know. Um, so you have to reevaluate everything. And, um, and, and luckily, we were blessed to be able to place that order through, through China. Um, the prices were, it was a big difference. It was a big difference. So, so anyway, so let me show you the books, the books. It, and not only was the price difference, the quality was different on the books. And you would think, cause I was leery about ordering through China. I said, China, you know, I, I don't get to touch it. I don't get to feel it. It's coming from China. What if it gets here? And I spent all this money and the product is just not right. Um, they did send me a sample and I was very impressed with the sample. And so we placed our order. And this is the book that, um, this is the book actually, excuse me, let's switch this up. This is the book that we normally print here from Ingram Spark. As you can see, it's a nice book, it's colorful. The kids love the color of the book. They look and they're just like, oh my gosh. And it's so funny because they know the characters. Wow, right? So because Nicholas travels around to different schools and when we go into the schools, a lot of times they're screaming the characters' names. So um, so anyway, so if you look at the book, nice book, colorful. See the pages, all colorful and all. Can I hear how, when I turn the pages, you can kind of hear how lightweight it is. So that's Ingram Spark. Now... This here is what I received from China. You can kind of hear it. Kind of feels and sounds like a cardboard. You kind of hear that, see? And when you look at the pages, the pages are nice and glossy and the colors pop more. And um, it's a thicker book. It's, it is, it is a, it's a thicker book, it's a heavier book. This book is, um, the one here, this one is, I think, 0.25. And 
this one is like 0.35 so it's a much it's a thicker book um, you know and just to kind of show you the difference on that too Nicholas recently met with President Jimmy Carter and he wanted to give him an autographed copy of his book so this was the first book that we autographed that he that he autographed and as you see everything bled through see the black marker everything bled through so he signed it in the in the front and it all bled through so it just kind of show you that how thin these are um, versus what we have now much thicker nicer you can take a black marker and write on it it's it's really nice so um, yeah so anyway so another thing that I really loved about ordering through uh, through China was we were able to order a hard copy book now we did not have a hard copy available here in the States because if we printed it here we were going to have to charge anywhere between sixteen seventeen dollars for a thin hard copy book and I just thought that was a little ridiculous but now voila we now have a hard copy and what's so nice about this hard copy is that our hard copy is the same price as what our paperback used to be. So our paperback is now, um, we, had, we took the price down on our paperback, and now this is the same price that the paperback used to be. And it's so nice. Look at it. You can see the, Nicholas's name and the title of the book right here on the side. Um, when you open it up, everything is just nice. It's just, I love it. I love it. So anyway, um, anyway, now one thing though to remember when it comes to the better quality books is that when you change the thickness of your book, you're going to change the pricing of your shipping too. So we used to have a flat rate shipping of $2.99. So it didn't matter if you ordered one book, 100 books. We shipped everything out for $2.99. Um, some of it, you know we lost a little on that you know but it was okay because some of some of the shipping may have been a little cheaper some may have been a little expensive you know at the end it kind of washed out but now with the new books especially the hard copy because it's heavier it makes a big difference in your shipping um, to the point that we did raise our shipping to three dollars and 99 cents but it's still a flat rate shipping so you can still order 100 books and you're only going to pay three dollars and 99 cents which is nice but that's just something to consider when you think about buying the thicker um, better quality books is it's going to add to your shipping so you might want to um, add that to the cost of your books or add it to the back end with your shipping you know so but um but another thing too and the one last thing to tell you about the book is that the book has um, Nicholas has an app for the book now too which is really nice and let me just show you that um, it's called an augmented reality app so you know you download the app on your phone and it's really cool because the book I don't know if you could see this um, the character actually the characters come to life Trying to angle it where you guys can see this good. Let me see if I just open it up. Um, let's open it up. Let's. As you see this, see the character, how he's moving, how he's taking off his hat and all. And then if you take it to the page where the, um, the story is written, and it will actually... Child is the exact antithesis of Kayla. While she's practicing for the debate, he's staring at the plethora of hats in his collection. So it reads the story to you as well. So the pictures come to life and it reads the story to you, which is actually cool. And believe it or not, when we take it to the schools and we show the kids, the kids, they love the augmented reality. You know, because of course it's all about making, um, making education fun. So if you make reading fun, the kids love it. And um, when we do visit the schools, it's nice because we actually, we try to give the books away. So we get a lot of the community, community involved because Nicholas has a nonprofit called Books Without Borders. And so the community, um, the local community, they'll donate to his nonprofit. And so we're able to go into the schools and give the kids the books. 
so it's 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 lovely it's nice so anyway so if you guys have any questions i hope you enjoyed this video um you know i hope i answered all of your questions if you do have any more questions feel free to leave it below um, I'll actually even post the the company that I used um, to order from China. I'll post that below also so you can find that. But uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Nicholas's channel because he does have a lot of great, exciting things coming up for 2020. Um, can't talk about it much now, but just follow him on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Just follow him and you can kind of keep up with everything that he's doing. So, um, so anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.